Now, there is a literacy crisis here in Michigan statewide. Roughly 8% of people don't have basic reading skills. In Detroit, a 2015 study found 56% of 8th graders did not have the basic reading skills. So what can be done, we ask? 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has a look at a new pilot program trying something new to make a difference in tonight's Detroit 2020. When it comes to teaching kids how to read and to absolutely love books, studies show you have to start at birth. Now a program in the Detroit Public Schools Community District is working to help parents do just that. So often we hear about the need for literacy programs in schools, but there's a problem. Public school education doesn't start until pre-K or kindergarten. And we talk a lot about the importance of the early years and the fact that for our young kids and babies, there's something like 700 brain connections that are made every second. And parents can support those brain connections by talking to their kids, reading to their children. Erica Wood is president and CEO of the company Raising a Reader. The national nonprofit is working with Detroit Public Schools Community District on a pilot program that launches next month. It will work with 100 brand new moms whose children plan to go to Munger Elementary Middle School to educate and work with them to help their children learn to read. The program was the idea of retired Chief Justice Maura Corrigan. She says she hopes it helps the district deal with the change in law. Starting in 2019, Michigan will hold back third graders who are not proficient in reading. It's going to affect Detroit Public Schools Community District in this sense that someplace in the neighborhood of about 85% um, of third graders are not proficient in reading. This program is got to believe is going to help our students um, grow and continue and, and, and grow towards proficiency. The hope is the program is a step towards leveling the academic playing ground for children living in poverty. We see kids show up for their first day of kindergarten and they're already behind. Kids coming from more affluent households are exposed to 30 million more words than kids coming from lower income households. So by the time they get to three, there's already a 30 million word gap. The program needs volunteers. If you're interested in helping out, we'll have information at our website, wxyz.com. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.